Hey guys, it's Ben here, and in this video we're going to be talking about whether Liverpool can actually sign Kylian Mbappé. So one of the biggest talking points this summer in terms of transfers is going to be the future of Kylian Mbappé. Many clubs have been linked with the 18-year-old Monaco striker and we're really talking about Europe's elite clubs. Now Mbappé managed 26 goals and 14 assists last season in just 44 games, 101 minutes per goal. He is the hottest property in Europe right now. He's just 18 years old. He reminds a lot of people of Thierry Henry. He did play well against England on Tuesday night but missed his opportunities to score. Now a story by Dominic King, one of the more reliable Liverpool journalists, suggested that Jurgen Klopp is actually she contacted him back to representatives. This story came out earlier in the week. Got laughed at by a lot of Liverpool fans and opposition supporters. Are Liverpool realistically in the race for Kylian Mbappé, someone who's been sought after by the biggest clubs in the world? Are Liverpool really in that conversation? Well, look, let's not completely rule it out. We know Liverpool have got big money to spend this summer. I'm as frustrated as anyone that they haven't managed to get anything over the line just yet, or don't you really seem close to even the Salah deal seems to be taking too long. But this one is something that would drag on throughout the summer. It's a hundred million pound deal. I'm not expecting this one to be sorted in the next couple of weeks. I think it's going to be one that may drag on right into August. Now, Liverpool surely will be after a number nine this season. Will they realistically keep Daniel Sturridge and Deva Carrigi and even Danny Ings? I think a lot of Reds fans want to see a marquee striker come into Anfield and Mbappe obviously fits the bill. What a statement of intent it would be if Liverpool could get this one done. Now they're the third favourites with the bookies. They're at nine to one with Skybet, Simon Mbappe. For me, head over heart, this one seems a bridge too far. One thing I would say is that Mbappe will want to guarantee that he's in the World Cup Side. Some of the other clubs that have been linked with him may not see him as their first choice should they bring him in. So Liverpool can offer him that, but unfortunately I cannot see him in a red shirt. Now the Reds aren't the only club to have been linked with him from the Premier League. We know that Pep Guardiola of Man City is keen on the Frenchman and the keep have said that Guardiola is absolutely convinced by his abilities. We know that City have got the money, we know that they've already signed Bernardo Silva and Bap's teammate from last season. I feel like if there is a Premier League team that are going to sign and Bap, City might be his suitors. But then again they have got Aguero and Jesus who are both absolutely world-class centre forwards and they do tend to only play one up front so I'm not sure how that would work unless they sold Aguero. City have an outside chance of getting him in. Now another one is Arsenal. Not in the Champions League next season of course but the lure of London might attract him the thought of playing with Sanchez if he stays, Meza Ozil. You know how great Arsenal style of players. They have won three trophies in the last four years so all footballers are obviously hungry to win silverware and that's something that Arsenal have got a habit of doing. Now it looks like Wenger is interested in Mbappe as well as Lacazette and Lamar another Monaco teammate of Mbappe's. This this will be a real shock. It's documented that Mbappe wants to play in the Champions League. Not something Arsenal are in. I think Arsenal have more chance of getting Lacazette, maybe. There has been talk of Manchester United and Chelsea as well, looking at Mbappe, but it looks like Morata will go to United and Lukaku to Chelsea, so that'll probably rule those two out. Now, the favourites are Real Madrid, and Mbappe admitted after the England friendly on Tuesday night that they have been trying to sign him for a few years now, since he was 14. But as I mentioned, with the World Cup so close, can he really afford to go to Real Madrid this summer, where they got Karim Benzema, who's obviously an extraordinary striker. They've got Ronaldo, Isco, Bale, Asensial already in their squad. Can he realistically fit in? I'm not so sure, but we know Madrid are capable of this sort of transfer. They're not likely to be put off by the fee. And the same can be said for Barcelona. I haven't seen quite so many links with them as, a, as you have Madrid for Mbappe, but he has said that it's a possible destination for him, apparently. And in Spain, there have been some suggestions that there have been some talks. And then there's Juventus, who spent 90 million euros on Higuain last summer. Could they top even that? This summer, again, there have been reports in Italy that this isn't out of the question. Now, PSG are 14 to 1 to sign and back. This might make a bit of sense. You know, he's obviously going to stay in his own country, but Edison Cavani had an incredible season. I'm not sure if there's any chance that he's going to be dislodged up front, but Mbappe was famously born around Paris, so he might fancy going back there. Now, in terms of where I think Kylian Mbappe will and should end up this summer, there's one clear destination for me. As much as I wish it was Liverpool, I think he has to stay put at Monaco for one more season. He's guaranteed to start there. Why not prove that last season wasn't the fluke for both him and the club? Go on and win the league again, have another go in Europe, and keep that momentum going 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 into the World Cup. It's a big risk moving through Madrid or to the Premier League. You risk your form, you risk your position as a starter. I think one more year and if he cements himself, if he can repeat his goal return, his magic of last season, the fee will be even bigger next summer. Ignore what I just said, Killian. Come to Anfield. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Please do subscribe for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video and leave a comment with where you think Mbappe should go this summer, if you think he should go anywhere at all and where you think he will go this summer. I think he's going to stay. You might feel different 
differently. The bookies have got them at five to four to stay in Monaco and seven to four to move to Madrid. Arsenal are four to one. Everyone else is quite long. Even Everton are on the betting at 40 to one. Bizarre one. Anyway, follow my other socials. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.